All right, folks. So in this video, I'm going to tell you what I believe is the king of CPU coolers that are under $40. Now, I bought mine for uh, less than this, but, uh, you know, obviously with success, these guys have jacked up the price ever so slightly, right? So $40 for a CPU cooler that is good up to, say, 265 watt TDP. Um, dual towers, dual 120 millimeter fans, and this has uh, six heat pipes. Now, of course, you can buy uh, faster fans if you wanted to. Um, you may save, you know, or get uh, your temps down another anywhere from one to five degrees Celsius, depending on what you're doing. But uh, as I have experimented with this, now I've done quite a few videos on the channel. Um, this doesn't show all of them. We did do a comparison video between this and quite a few other CPU coolers. Uh, this pound for pound, folks, is the best deal. I think you'll see, you know, I had uh, unboxed this well before a lot of folks on YouTube. And uh, obviously this has become quite popular uh, with the, uh, the big boy channels. Uh, but you can see, you know, Yours truly uh, had this. I've had this uh, about seven, eight months now, whatever that is. So quite a while. And, you know, we did the unboxing. We installed it. Um, thank you to everybody that's watched the installation video on the channel. It's actually been uh, very profitable from, from that aspect. I did two versions of it. I got some, you know, uh, people that were upset that uh, maybe I, I cut out a few things that I, I shouldn't have. So we redid this as a 4K, uh, better resolution. Really slowly walked through it. Funny that, you know, even still somebody would even complain about it because it's really was probably the best installation video anywhere on YouTube that you're going to find. Uh, matter of fact... Yeah, I'd stake my reputation that this is the best installation video. So make sure you check that video out if you're going to buy this, all right? Now, uh, of course, that was for LGA 1700. We did do an AM4 one, all right? And I did not combine this with LGA 1700, or excuse me, 1200 or 1151. Uh, maybe one day I'll do that. In the future, my, my plans are, I believe, to ensure every time I get a CPU cooler that we... Uh, do installation for all the various types. But uh, yeah, so um, this sucker is easy to install, uh, you know, very high quality. A lot of videos on my channel uh, as far as performance goes. And it definitely will keep the CPU cool. Definitely when it's just sitting there idling in gaming. Now for, you know, 13th gen, is it ideal for some of the bigger CPUs? Uh, for gaming, you know, it'll it'll uh, work decently. Uh, maybe not benchmark. So trying to run it with an i9, 13900K, KS, 13700K, KF. Um, you know, benchmark's not going to quite cut it. Uh, you will have some uh, thermal throttle with it. But for gaming folks, it, it gets the job done. Uh, so... You know, from that aspect, as long as you have a decent case that you're getting good airflow through, it will work. Uh, most of those CPUs, though, I, I use uh, some type of water cooling um, just so I can, you know, get all around benchmarks and gaming uh, and be happy with, with what I have. But that said, you know, uh, there's other things you can do to those CPUs to uh, get the temps down, including these CPU coolers. But, you know, I have tried this out with a lot of CPUs on the channel. i9-12900KS, the i9-13900KF. Uh, so it's, it's, you know, adequate, like I said, for gaming. And you'll be impressed, I believe, with the temps you get. Uh, until you run, you know, Cinebench R23 and you're like, oh, wow, uh, it gets really hot, right? But, you know, those CPUs are uh, are kind of crazy as far as that stuff goes. If you really want to unleash the power in them, 
Now, uh, you know, price wise, hey, 40 bucks, folks. What can you get for $40, right? So, you know, something like a freaking uh, V True V5 is, is $35 now. It was a good deal when it was $20. Hell, it was a really good deal when they gave it to me for free. Um, but this thing is, would just absolutely blow that away, right? $5 more. Um, hell, their V True V6 U Pro or whatever. Uh, this thing destroys that. This will destroy a lot of the Noctua coolers that are out there, uh, except for, you know, uh, kind of comparative more to probably the NH-U14S. It's not going to be as good as a uh, the D14, D15, D15S, right? Not going to be that good. Um, but somewhere in that NH-U14S range, Definitely better than an NHU12S. Um, you know, there is the uh, U12S with two performance fans in it. Uh, but this, I personally believe, is better. Now, replacing the fans with even faster ones, you know, uh, it'll cool even better, get a little noisier. We've done that on the channel. Done a lot with this thing, and I, I just feel like, you know, $40, folks. Oh, my God. I, I wish I had... A, a different color of these, um, you know, multiple colors. I, I do love it. Um, in the future, you know, it's it's really, maybe it's overkill for a lot of the unlocked, or excuse me, the lock processors, uh, like an i5, 13400F, where you'd probably be better off buying the single tower with the, the six uh, uh, heat pipes. But, uh, you know, for an i5 13600K KF, uh, I think this is a, a perfect match. Um, works good with, you know, the 5800X, which you don't see a video on here with that, but we uh, we do have the 5800X, and we've tried it out. So there you go, folks. Uh, $40. I say get you one. Um, you know, as long as your case can fit that in there uh, and your motherboard, you know, isn't... Uh, necessarily like a mini ITX build. Uh, this should work out fine for you. And I think you'll be happy with it. Thanks for checking out the video. Please like, please subscribe. Thank you.